John Brumby has entrusted a relatively inexperienced minister with the task of getting Melbourne's public transport back on track in an election year. Former union boss Martin Pakula has been in Cabinet just 12 months. But he says he likes a challenge and intends to be a familiar face on Melbourne's trams and trains over the next few months. As Nick Parkin reports, Mr Pakula was handed the troubled portfolio in a reshuffle brought about by his predecessor's departure. Victoria's new public transport minister spent the afternoon getting a taste for his portfolio and he's happy to be on board. The Premier's expectation of me is that I be a strong advocate for the travelling public, for the users of the system. Martin Pakula was the biggest winner in today's Cabinet makeover, but other ministers, including Justin Madden and Jacinta Allen, have picked up extra responsibilities. Lily D'Ambrosio, the only new face in the ministry, takes over the role of community development. I look forward to working with my Cabinet colleagues and getting on with the job. The Premier concedes his new Transport Minister will face a challenging year as he tries to sell the government's transport upgrades and fix the MyKey ticketing system. He is a person who has a, a commitment and a passion for a challenge. He'll have that challenge and he'll have that hard work set out in the public transport portfolio. It's also a challenge finding out when MyKey will be fully operational. Uh, it'll be rolled out when it's ready. What's the time frame? No, no, when it's ready. It doesn't matter whether John Brumby changes the minister. The transport system is in a mess. Mikey's in a mess. Public transport will be a key policy battleground at this year's state election. So the Premier has told Martin Pakula to get on the trains, talk to commuters and find out what they think. So he'll be out there, he'll be a familiar face, uh, he'll be out there for a few weeks, he'll be listening. My priority is to uh, get on every train line uh, to meet the travelling public, to listen to their concerns. He'll see uh, packed trains, he'll see slow trams, he'll see infrequent buses. All these are problems that have to be fixed. It might be a bumpy ride ahead. Nick Parkin, ABC News, Melbourne.